Hey and welcome back here to a new tutorial. So in this episode we will start with Mari. But before we jump into the tool, we are here in Maya where we do a little bit of preparation for the asset, or at least I just show what I did here. So we have here a very cool blaster model which was modeled by Mikhail Agarov. I hope I say that correctly, otherwise please don't don't punish me, don't punish me, don't kill me, please. So we have here the model and I assigned here some basic Lambert shaders which we can use later in Mari for selection groups. So I simply just assigned, as I said, here the Lambert materials, gave them some basic color here just to see it better here in the viewport, what it is, and then we can export it. File, export selection, I have it here on my desktop, last tutorial, assets, and here I have it. So I don't have to export it again. Okay, so here in Mari, that's how it looks like when you open it for the first time. And I don't like that kind of UI layout because it's a bit, yeah, let's say, it's a bit the legacy workflow with the layer stack and some, some channel workflow here. And the first thing we can do is close them all. So we have a blank one. So let's start here with the node graph. So we can dock the node graph here on the right side and the node properties here on the top side. Let's adjust it here a bit. And we also need the image manager, which we can drag and drop here onto our node properties. So now we have here these two tabs. That's usually my layout, which um, I have when I work with Mari. So you can save it under view, uh, save layout. So I have here uh, already one saved. So here I can load it. As you can see, it looks the exact same. Okay, so now let's start with the first thing in Mari. Oh, we can, we can extend it here a bit. Great. Here under new, we can create a new project. So we can go for our blaster model. It is on our desktop. The blaster tutorial, assets and the 11 blaster. So here it's quite important. We don't want to import a whole frame range of 200 frames. We just want one single frame. So keep that in mind, one single frame. Otherwise it will take forever to load it in. Great, so let's go over to channels. So we can use here one of the presets. I most of the time work with the Arnold surface. And here I change a few of the settings. So 4K is great, but we don't need 16-bit. So we can go for 8-bit. So I don't need the specular color. I want to have the metalness here as well, 8-bit. Specular roughness, 8-bit. And the bump here, 8-bit as well. Under the color settings, we want to work in ACES because, yeah, ACES is the new, it's the new black. <laughs> here, lighting, we can leave it as it is. So, name the project, delete this one here, just 11 blaster, one single frame, create new project. Give it a bit of time to load everything into Mario. Yeah, so insert elevator music here, and here we go. Give it a bit more time. And even more time. <laughs> Great, and here we are, look. Okay, maybe just a bit more time. Great, look, now we are here. So when you open Mari for the first time, you will have maybe an ugly background and some weird navigation. So to fix that, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and switch here under navigation to Maya. I mean, on default it's on Mari when I'm not wrong, but yeah, switch to Maya, trust me, it's better. <laughs> and here under view, display properties, you can set here your own background color. And if you want to disable the grid, you can turn it off here. And then it should look like as my viewport here. So here we have our node graph. 
which is the way to go in my opinion so it's a very powerful and handy workflow to texture so you can share data very easily from one node to another and it's super easy to do that but yeah we start blank and delete it just for the sake of purpose we can add a color node with tab you can open the search bar type in color feed it into the diffuse color and it will update here so one thing you need to have in mind is here under the uh, where is it? Shader up, shader drop down. On the Arnold one, it's still legacy with the weight of 0 0.8. You want to crank this up to 1 to have it fully the value you have here in your notes. Great, so this isn't a tutorial about how to texture. This is more an introduction into Mari and the last thing I will show you is how we can do a better lighting setup here and it's here under the light you can pin it here by clicking on these little bulbs you can disable it and here under environment you can press here and load an HDR you can also load one from your drive just go here I have it mounted here so you can drag and drop here any folder to this left bar so you have a quick access to it we can use this one, that's a cool one, it's free on HDR Haven because we are in ASUS, we need to switch here to Utility, Linear sRGB, Open and here we have it Oh no, it's not the one from HDR Haven, it's the one from Substance Painter Ooh, blasphemic, I hope I don't, I don't start burning here using a Substance Painter HDR and Mari uh, we have a couple of settings here, so we can crank up the intensity and call it a day, export it, and yeah, pro like. Let's have it on one. So you can fix it to the camera, so it will always stay with the camera. You don't want that on the HDR. So go to C. You can rotate it here, and you can hide it. It's that's what I'm doing most of the time. Hide it. So here on the lights itself, they are a bit fiddly to, to adjust, so you have here this this little ball, but yeah, it's it's doable. It's not super great, but look, it's doable. And the thing which I do most of the time is I have here my HDR and I enable one or two lights extra which are fixed to the camera. So every time I move, maybe on the dark side of, of the thing, that they come with me, so they are, it's already here to the camera, so if you can see it here, oh, pretty, pretty lit side, but you go on the other side, yeah, maybe it's a bit dark, so if you change that to camera, it will, it will always move, and this is a super handy. So I don't have to feel that I need here a second light, or at least a third light, so I just leave it as it is. And, yeah. This was a quick introduction here into Mari, how we can set up the project. And in the next tutorial, or in the next video, we will start texture painting here some stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye!